you know, feel excited. I'm ready to have my haircuts, take these off, and do a lineup and everything. I mean, so I'm so excited to do all that too, you know, man? I went and get a CT scan, so now I came back to Dr. Lee to get my results. It feels kind of a little scared too, you know, I mean, like, you never know what's going on. Hopefully, it's not something bad. Jose. Hi there. Back. How are you? Good, all right, and you? Nice to see you. Nice yeah, to see you, too. So, we sent you for a test, huh? Uh -huh. OK. CT scan. Now, Jose has got a huge mass on the side of his head, and it sounds like Dr. Lee sent him to get a CAT scan, a CT scan, to see exactly what it is and maybe how close it is to certain nerves and blood vessels. We have a nerve that actually runs right up to that area and it goes really close to the eyebrow and it's the nerve that basically powers your eyebrows to go up and down. If that nerve goes through the mass and when that mass is actually cut out and when it's excised, the nerve is cut, then that can cause his eyebrow to drop permanently. All right, well, I have the results here for you. Yeah, I wonder when I see the results. It doesn't look like it's affecting the skull or your muscles underneath. It looks like this is just a lipoma. So that's all good news. So right. that means that we can remove this today. All right. A lipoma is a benign fatty tumor. Now the term tumor makes you think cancer and you can have benign and you can have malignant. A benign tumor like a lipoma basically can grow bigger but it doesn't necessarily invade the surrounding structures. It's not gonna go through your lymph nodes and go to other parts of your body, nor is it gonna erode through his skull and cause damage to his brain or anything like that. So that's great news. I do need to be careful in this area because there are some nerves that run very superficially and if I sever the temporal nerve that runs in this area, it can affect his ability to move his brow up and down. It's so important that if you're going to be performing procedures like this, that as a physician you have to know the anatomy. And it's not just what you see in the two-dimensional textbooks, but it's three-dimensional. The nerves may run superficial to that mass or they may run deep to it. And once again, getting that CAT scan will give you an idea. How close to the surface is it? If it's close enough to the surface, you may be able to take the whole thing out, leaving the nerve undisturbed below. I feel excited. I'm ready to have my haircuts, take these off and do a lineup and everything. I mean, so I'm so excited to do all that too, you know, man? Can you imagine how it would feel with that huge thing growing on the side of your head? Everywhere you would go in public, people would stare at you. And it's not of his own doing, it's just these types of things sometimes happen. The lucky ones, a lipoma can grow maybe on your back or in your side. Poor guy's got it right on his face. I wanna preserve your hairline that it looks normal. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw out where your hairline is here. The biggest challenge is maintaining Jose's hairline. I need to repair this area so that the hair grows in a normal way. That is really true. When you've got a mass that big, and it definitely is shifting his hairline because some of that hair-bearing scalp has been stretched, some of the non-hair-bearing forehead skin has been stretched as well, how do you know when you make the cut that you're going to put the hairline in the right position? He could have a hairline on one side sit much, much lower than the other, and he may not be very happy with that. So this is definitely where the artistry of plastic surgery and Dr. Lee being a cosmetic dermatologist really does come in. This episode is brought to you by my skincare line, Yoon Beauty. Our products combine natural and organic ingredients with the latest in scientifically proven anti-aging components like vitamin C and retinol. So if you're looking for healthy and youthful skin without the unnecessary chemicals, this is the skincare line for you. Check them out at dryunonline.com and use the coupon code 20OFF to get $20 off your first order over $99. We'll put a link in the caption below. All right, back to the video. Okay. I'm gonna turn them a little bit more. Okay. Just trying to see if we can't get this lipoma off of you if it'll pop out really easily. Okay. So you can see there's a bit of bleeding here. When the scalp is cut, it bleeds like stink. It bleeds a ton. And that's why whenever I've got somebody who's got a Goomba on their top of their head or in their scalp, 
I always remove it in the operating room because I don't want to deal with that bleeding in my office. But kudos to Dr. Lee. She is a master at taking things like this off in her office successfully. I know you can feel me pushing you around again, but nothing should hurt, okay? I'm just mm -hmm. trying to see if I can loosen this whole lipoma up. It's a very fibrous lipoma. I really wish it would just pop right out. That's what I don't like. There are two types of lipomas. Some lipomas are just very well circumscribed. Uh, they're just a kind of a spherical mass of fat and you make an incision over it and you squeeze it and like a pimple, it just pops right out. It is so satisfying. Then there are the other ones that are like clusters of grapes where you've got a little bit of fat here, a little bit of fat there, and it just doesn't allow you to remove it as simply. It's looking like Jose has the latter, not the former, unfortunately bottom part it's just totally stuck to your scalp here in a flat like a pancake mm -hmm. so i'm trying to take that out come on little guy make me happy make it worth it make this a good day what is the most useful tool in plastic surgery is it a knife is it cautery it's actually our fingers and you can see on this video and prior that she does what's called finger dissection, where she's using her finger to kind of dissect all the way around and kind of tear those fibrous connections around this lipoma. Because of the tactile sensation, you can really tell exactly where the planes are, oftentimes even if you're double gloved. I'm gonna cut it because I can't get them off there. All right, we're fixing it up now. Okay. I was able to remove Jose's lipoma completely, and now comes the fun but challenging part, trying to recreate his hairline there. So it looks like she had to remove this lipoma piecemeal. It's not quite as satisfying as popping that thing out all in one piece, but it definitely does the work. And the other question is, is once she's done taking this off and closing it up, is he gonna be able to move his eyebrows up and down? It's really good, Dr. Lee. It does. Can you raise your eyebrow for me? Oh yes, it still works. I love you, but your lipoma sucked. <laughs> I love the technique that she used here. She made the incision right along his hairline. That way, hopefully the hair can fall over a little bit and it can help hide that scar. Wow, I don't got the big ball. I seen in the mirror a whole different man. I feel like a different person now because I don't got the ball no more. It's gone. <laughs> now I'm gonna go to my family events, you know what I mean? Oh my God. I'm gonna get a haircut and a lineup and everything, and then this beer is gonna be off too. It's gonna be great. You gotta love the smile on his face after getting this done. I'm really excited to see just what his final result will look like. Since that day I went to go see Dr. Lee, I feel so good, cause I don't got the bar no more. I just got a little scar going on, but it's okay. Now I could go to the stores, could go to the restrooms, I could go everywhere without people staring at me. I feel like a free man. Well, Jose had a mass on the side of his head that was really huge, but what about a nose that keeps growing and growing and growing in size? Take a peek at this video where I react to an episode of Dr. Pimple Popper and a man who had just that. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel and always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.